Welcome back to We're Reading Virtual Storytime for March 8th, 2021. This week we're going to be talking about Women's History Month. We'll read Who is Ruth Bader Ginsburg and we'll make our own RVG caller. Who was Ruth Bader Ginsburg by Lizbeth Kaiser, art by Stanley Chow. Ruth's mother taught her many things. She taught her to love books, she taught her to be kind, and she taught her something that very few people back then taught girls, that she was important, just as important as a boy. Ruth's parents were Jewish and had come from far away to be safe and free in the United States. But this didn't mean that Ruth was always treated fairly. Ruth saw that Jewish people weren't allowed to go certain places, and she learned that girls didn't get to do the same things as boys. This didn't feel right. Ruth knew she wanted to do something to help others when she grew up, so she studied hard and went to college. There she learned about lawyers. When people are treated unfairly, lawyers can help them by speaking up for their rights in front of a judge. This sounded important to Ruth. After college, Ruth became a wife, a mother, and a law student. Many people at law school didn't want women there, but Ruth was a brilliant student and worked really hard to make time for school and her family. After law school, it was very hard for Ruth to find a job. She was a mother and she was Jewish, and not one law office in all of New York City wanted to hire her, but she didn't give up. She became one of the few women in the country to teach law. Ruth also worked as a volunteer lawyer to help make things more equal for women and men. There was a lieutenant in the U.S. Air Force who was treated unfairly because she was a woman. Ruth wanted to help her by speaking to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has nine judges called justices. They decide if the laws in the country are fair. Back then, they were all men. Ruth explained to them very clearly why it wasn't fair to treat women differently from men. They agreed. It was time to change the law. Ruth became a famous lawyer for convincing many more judges to change old laws that treated men and women differently. Soon after that, she became a judge. Now Ruth would listen to lawyers speak up for people's rights and help decide what was fair. Ruth was such a fair judge, she was asked to become one of the nine justices on the Supreme Court. She was only the second woman ever to get this job. As a justice of the Supreme Court, Ruth had one of the most important jobs in the whole country. She helped make sure the laws were fair and that they protected everyone's rights, no matter who they were, what they believed, or where they were from. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was born in Brooklyn, New York at a time when girls didn't have the same rights as boys. Ruth's mother believed in women's rights and inspired Ruth to make a difference in the world. Ruth saw that lawyers could fight for other people's rights and help make the laws more fair. She studied law and then taught law, all while raising a family with her husband. It was almost unheard of for a woman to be a lawyer and for a mother and father to be equal partners in their family, but Ruth helped change that. Ruth volunteered as a lawyer for the American Civil Liberties Union and worked hard to make sure the country was more fair for women and men. She was chosen to be a federal judge and later became the second woman and sixth Jewish justice to join the Supreme Court. Smart, kind, and fearless, Ruth worked tirelessly to give all Americans an equal chance in life. She is remembered as a real-life superhero for protecting the rights of everyone and for daring to become everything she knew she could be. The End Okay, so we're going to make Ruth Bader Ginsburg's um, collar. She always has a nice lacy collar. Um, we'll need a piece of string that will attach it around our next um, we're not going to make it tight it's going to be a loose fitting thing scissors to cut everything out um i got this doily because i like the little lace around there so for that i have glue on a plate and a small paintbrush to paint on there and we're going to stamp with that but you also might want a glue bottle um this is a smaller one um it's going to 
much more narrow opening to make some lace looking things. And we're going to make this into lace. I'm going to cut out the template, which I've already done. And I did punch holes in there, but you can just tape it to the back if you want. I punched holes and tied a knot. Um, and then you need some white glitter. Now, if you don't have the glitter or you want it, make sure that everything is on there. Um, you can use um, white paint, but I just thought it would be cute with the white glitter. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get the fringe of this. The outside, I want to get that to look lacy. So I'm going to take my little paintbrush and I'm just going to paint. You can also dab it. I think what I'm going to do is dab it and then see how it's all over. Kind of like brush it so that it's nice and so you still get the holes and stuff. You need something for the glitter to stick to. The glitter should stick to the glue or the stain. So I'm just going to put some here. Just a little dab. And that's not working as well as I thought it would. We'll just make that nice and lacy. That didn't work for me. It would work for you if you were more patient than I am. But I'm just not... It would work much better with paint for the doily too. So we have little stickies there. It'll be all on the outside. And for the inside to make the lace pattern, I'm just gonna do some up and down. We're gonna turn them into little diamondy triangles. It's a bakery bag almost. And I cut a little hole in the corner and carefully sprinkle it. And you definitely want to do this on something flat like a tray or maybe a big plate platter. Um, and if you got a craft kit to go, um, you definitely got more glitter than you need. Just coat it and let it sit for a few minutes and then we'll dump it off and then you can any glitter that falls on the tray or whatever you're using you can put back in a bag not this one obviously since we put a hole in it but put it in a bag and save it for other projects later but um this is about a quarter cup of glitter here which is a lot for a small project but her collar disappeared ah so it up. We're just gonna come off and we're gonna see look and we'll go ahead and get a picture of it when it's all dry. Um, remember any glue that you see is gonna dry clear so you'll just have the glitter left. Um, but we're just gonna put that aside to try and I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> 